Good morning to you all. We shall start the training of leaders on environment and sustainability, sustainable development for NSS program officers in Northeast India. Sorry for the delay because of the weather. We have to a little bit miss out our timing. So here, the inaugural program, as we have seen, I would like to be. First, may I request the third semester of MSW student to present a welcome song. University Professor Nenzena to kindly stand up, sir, and then uh, welcome with a book here by Dr. Professor E. Kanakarash, who is a program coordinator. <laughs> then the guest of honor, Professor P. Rinama, have to be welcomed by Professor C. Devendran, who is the program coordinator. Then, may I welcome the current dean, the current dean, Professor Zohai Kwangi. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you. We shall proceed. May I request Professor C. Devendran to welcome the gatherings. Very good morning to all of you. It's more formal. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to ap apologize myself because uh, I was taking class. You are all teachers. We know that this environment is so nice to 
involved in teaching, so that that is the reason I already told my uh, my colleague Elizabeth to remind me at 10:30. Uh, okay, it's okay. Now I'll go to this program. To begin with, I would like to welcome the chief guest, Professor Lianzela, Vice Chancellor, Mizoram University, to this inaugural of training of trainers (TOT) on environment and sustainable development for NSS program officers in Northeast India, jointly organized by Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development and Department of Social Work, Mizoram University. I welcome you, sir. Secondly, I would like to welcome the guest of honor, Professor P. Rinoma, Program Coordinator, NSS, Mizoram University, to this gathering, sir. I welcome you. Thirdly, I welcome Professor Zokai Tluangi, Dean, School of Social Sciences, Mizoram University. And I also take this time for providing this conference hall to organize this program. I welcome you, ma'am. Fourthly, I would like to welcome my colleague, Professor Kanagraj Iswaran, who is the coordinator and also the instrument for organizing this program. I welcome you, sir. Fifthly, I welcome my colleague, Dr. H. Elizabeth, co-coordinator, and also joining hand to materialize this event today. I welcome you, ma'am. Finally, I would like to welcome all the NSS program officers who have come from different places, especially from different education institutions, Assam University, and our own affiliated college, NSS program officers. I don't know the names because so far some of the participants are coming on the way because of this inclement weather. Have a pleasant stay here. I welcome one and all. Thank you. Thank you, Professor C. Devendran. Now may I request Professor E. Kanakamaj to have an overview of the TOT training program. Professor Jela, uh, Honorable Coordinator of our NSS program, Mizoram University. Professor Rinoma, our uh, Madam Dean, Professor Jokaitwangi, who has been supporting all our activities, uh, my dear uh, friend and uh, brother Devendran, Professor Devendran, uh, my uh, our very good uh, student and uh, colleague Elizabeth, who is organizing and who is doing most of the work, uh, Professor Party and Professor Patnai, Professor uh, Jyoti Kumar sir, Professor Sati, uh, KC and other uh, resource persons, NSS program officers, friends, I am very happy to stand before you to say a few things about this program. This program is being organized jointly by our department with the Department of Development Studies, Rajiv Gandhi National Institute for Youth Development. Uh, last year, I was missing my guide, Professor Silverajan, who is a professor in uh, Anamala University, on the day of teacher, on Teacher's Day. So he was asking whether you will be able to conduct a, a training program for NSS officer. One of my, our students, his student actually working in Rajiv Gandhi Institute is Manivasakam. Mr. Mani Basakam is assistant professor in the Department of uh, Development Studies. He wants to organize some program in Northeast India. Then I said, okay, sir, we will do because we have a uh, uh, department and we will be, we have been organizing so many programs, research methodology, workshop and all. So I said, okay. Then he, that, after that, he, nobody contacted. Last, uh, now, uh, the end of the November, Mani Basakam called me and we want to organize that. Then I said yes, but after that I did not get any information. Again, 
when I was in vacation, Mr. Manivasakam called me and we want to do before the end of this financial year we need to I, I was there at home uh, February first week he called me then I forwarded his uh, notification to Professor Devendran he said okay then after coming here we started and uh, we wanted to have one week before the end of the financial year but uh, because of the paucity of time we could not mobilize the this participants, so we could not organize and first week of uh, April we are organizing. So mainly this program is meant for, you know, the NSS program officers who are going to act, act as trainers and who are going to facilitate the involvement of the student youth in promoting awareness about environment and sustainable. You know, we are in a, you know, we are in a state of, you know, global you know, because of this uh, global warming, we are having rains, yearly rains and so many problems we are facing. So now it is the time even in Mizoram we have to act. So we have to promote awareness and we have to promote many things like biodiversity, water conservation, energy conservation, use of non-conventional energy, afforestation, so many things are there. You know, we, you know one thing? In Mizoram, in Aizol, we have lost one river, Chitte River. We are going to have field visit to Chitte Lui. On actually Friday, we are going to have that program. Field visit also we are going to have. We are going to have practical also. Other than lectures on various aspects of uh, environment, sustainable development, issues of uh, sustainable development, and we are going to have group discussions and presentations and we are going to have sessions for planning how, what to, to be done, how to be done like that so it is going to be more uh, engagement and it will be more participate so that is uh, the program so I hope all the participants will take it as an opportunity to promote our environment and well-being if we don't have environment we will have no future in Mizoram just if we lose our forest cover, we will not have water to drink. I have observed simply wherever we have thick forest, we have water. Wherever we have lost forest cover, we have no, we don't have water. So it is high time we act. And uh, bringing water from somewhere is not possible. So it is the high time we work on, and this is a very good the beginning. I hope all of our uh, participants and the resource persons will make it very great uh, success and uh, we have drawn, we have got very good resource persons who are really working in on the field professor sati uh, kc uh, dr kc and others you know really working in this field i i think it is not simply from theory but from practice and experience we are going to have sharing of uh, knowledge so thank you very much to all of you for coming to this uh, inaugural program thank you very much thank you Honorable Vice-Chair of Missouri University, Professor Lianzela, and co guest of honor, uh, guest of honor, Professor Piri Nova Program Coordinator, NSS Missouri University, and uh, organizers, and my senior professors, and my colleague, and those who came from that uh, outside uh, participant. I welcome you to this uh, very. Uh, uh, very uh, esteemed and uh, this uh, this is okay trainers trainers trainings of trainers on environment and sustainable development for an ASS program officer in northeast India I am very grateful to that uh, Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development and this uh, social work department of our university uh, to be able to work out we know that this is not only the one night work <laughs> to work out all of those. I know how long they have been working to be able to complete all of those, to be able to organize this. I'm really happy to know that you could be able to complete and bring us together here today. And yeah, I am not supposed to talk ever, to give a long speech. Yes, human development. We've been talking about that human development. Uh, for the human development, uh, that's biological and uh, psychological development are there, and that's uh, of uh, that's all human development are contributed by many factors, 
And when we talk about that uh, development, uh, it, is, it is that change over the course of life. Physical uh, development, are there, emotional development, are there, economic development, are there, and social cultural development, are there, so many development. Are there. But today we are going to concentrate to that environment and sustainable development. Yes, why environment is so important, why we, are, we have to discuss about that sustainable development because, you know, it affected that human being. Uh, the environment, we all know that, uh, you know, greenhouse effect and all of those pollution, different kind of pollutions, how it affects that physically and psychological and emotional development. We all know that it's not need to repeat all of those. That Why this has become so important? Because all of those, are, you know, uh, that's depletion of and all of those are contributed, done by the human being. And next to that, and all of those affected the human being and because of that it becomes so important today in this uh, training also we are going to discuss about that how important it is we are trying to give them awareness to that trainers and the trainers you have to tell them again to conserve our you know that our resources limited resources how we are going to uh, conserve how we are going to have that sustainable development these things are very important and you know when uh, yeah only one thing i would like to say is that during uh, many years back and as you know the scientist people are together and they wanted to save that uh, observatory of the greenest observatory to the outcast of the society thinking that nothing would be there and they can have more time then they can concentrate more to their work that are not thinking of that and then they shifted it that but they have forgotten that the human being you know that social human being and because of that after shifting that and those people, they could not concentrate to work because, you know, they miss their, you know, uh, that evening uh, outing and being together with that friend, that and all. And because of that, they could not work there. And then they have to convert, uh, take them back to the city. That is that, you know. What I'm trying to say is that even we are talking about the development, if we are talking about that environment and maybe that sustainable development also, the core center is that human being. So this is that, that we are social scientists are going to discuss it that. I do hope that in this uh, session, in this trainer's training, many things, I, I do hope that you can work it out, you can put it together, your views, your aims, and then uh, out of that, you can give, you know, for uh, conservation of uh, uh, limited resources of uh, art. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma. Now? May I have with a great immense pleasure, may I have the guest of honor who is the program coordinator at NSS Mizoram University, Professor Kirinoma. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I'm so sorry that I was a little bit late. Uh, it's only I have started from my home, uh, quarter past nine, but unluckily there was a big traffic jam in the Aliata Roman Catholic uh, School, so I'm very sorry for not coming in all time. Uh, anyhow, uh, I could raise it in a few minutes right there. Uh, today I am very happy to have the uh, opportunity to stand over you, uh, among you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, this Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor, Professor Lianzela, uh, then uh, Professor Zhu Kaitwagi, Dean of uh, Social Sciences, Professor Gana Grass, then the veteran head of the department, then Dr. Elizabeth, the coordinator, co-coordinator of this workshop training rather, then again uh, all the professor of the Missouri University, then the resource person from various department, then the program coordinator, no, uh, program officer from various part of the state, as well as uh, from the coordinator, I heard that uh, from Assam also, uh, PO are coming. Yeah. But uh, I do not know whether they are here or not. Anyhow, I am very happy 
that some of the program officers have already come. I think some are still to come also. Uh, this day, Indian policy, youth are very important. They give priority to the youth development because we are all uh, all generation, because we cannot do much thing. Because if we train them, the youth people, then it will be good for the nation as a whole. Because anything, integration or development or any future development, it is very much depend on the youth. I think uh, actually the youth definition also differ from time to time. Uh, in general, actually acceptance 15 to 16 to 35. But now the age may be come down. Uh, it is uh, actually uh, definition, I think around 30. Yeah. Uh, I think most, I think many, uh, some of the teachers program also, also may come under youth also, isn't it? Yeah. But I do not know the actual age. Anyhow, some of the newly joined assistant professor, they may be very young. We may include them as a youth also, youth group also. First of all, I am very happy that uh, the Department of Social Science organized this very important training for uh, of trainers, trainings of trainers. I think uh, this is a good uh, course, it seems, because I myself also attended so many trainers training. Uh, I think 17 years back. I have attended two times, uh, University Talk 8, University Talk 8, uh, but <laughs> because uh, in the training ground, in the training field, I think one should be very, very uh, cautious because we are trained to train others. So this time also to train others. So, so that's why during the first a short period of time, four days, Five days, isn't it? Five days. So you should be very, very cautious. I think you should understand everything. So the topic may be may be of uh, something. You may think that it may not be the field of NSS, but program officers are the captain of the students because every program officer, I think, should command at least. 100 volunteers. So far, in the uh, university and the we have uh, 10,400 volunteers commanded by program officer. So some of the colleges having five unit. Here in the university professor department, we have six unit. So uh, I always spoke to the program officer there. If you train the student properly, so the I think the future will be very bright, especially in Mizoram also, because if you go according to the manual of NSS, I think people will be benefited. That's why this kind of training is very very important. Recently, I have attended uh, National Council of Rural Institute, Hyderabad. Uh, I think the uh, university has deputed me to attend two days uh, workshop on uh, uh, rural engagement. Rural engagement. This is also a part of rural engagement. So, if you have some knowledge, so after coming going back to your own institution, I think you can uh, lead the student. Because the NSS, the objective of the NSS is to train the students to community service. I think a person may be of uh, Mizo or mathematics or any, any department, uh, he can do or she can do. But uh, as program officer work is not a full time work, including program coordinator here in the university, uh, it is a part time job. So, Sometimes we have to sacrifice our time. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our family for noble cause. That's why uh, it is very, very much essential. So 
you know that uh, environment is actually very important because environment includes many things. So I think for development, I think as uh, you know, our dean has pointed out, uh, I think we should use our environment carefully in a sustainable manner. It, it does not mean that we should not use our environment, forest, water, everything, soil, we should use it, but to certain limits. But sometimes the villagers do not know how to use the environment in a sustainable manner. That's why NSS program officer after getting the training, proper training, I think you can uh, take your student to the field during uh, special camping or in any other activities so that I think villagers will be benefited. So villagers are actually ignorant, so you have to train them. That's why this training is very, very important. I am very happy that uh, RZ, RZ, I, U, Y, uh, UD, no, as in the uh, Institute of Youth Development. So, uh, I think they plan something, something. Not only that, uh, this, is, I mean, this training, but other activities also. Because last time also social science department also conducted some uh, some trainings, isn't it? Yeah, some women, and something, something like that. So they did, did very good things. So this time also, because Rajiv Gandhi, R C I Y D, and I think the part of social work was doing very good thing. I appreciate them also. Uh, I think how how much time said I take? I don't know because. If I speak so much, uh, uh, boring also. But uh, lastly, I think uh, I'm very happy that uh, this kind of training is organized by the Department of Social Work uh, for NSS program officer. So I wish all the program officer uh, during a short span of time be. <coughs> to be very cautious, to be very actually um, particular, to understand something so that after they go back, then they can lead the volunteer in a proper manner. Thank you. Dean of Social Sciences, Pituante and Purinoma, who is also a very important person today, and my colleagues here in the university, Dean Semis, and Pupatnai, Professor Patnai, Pupati, and those of you who are working here in the university, my colleagues, and ladies and gentlemen, it's my special privilege to be in your midst today, but I feel myself very inadequate because my knowledge about NSS or the topic training of trainers I never had a chance to be in that position anyway I feel very happy that in an occasion like this I can be with you and to be rather critical today let me just mention uh, one thing in an occasion like this, when we have a very important gathering, I think we should have more about pieces of the mic, because you know, single mic handing like to the computer and to the speaker. I think like university can afford to have uh, more mics uh, at this. We have uh, yes. So so uh, let me be critical today in that particular because in future, like we will be having more outsiders or. Uh, those like officers who are more uh, like you know respectable so we should not uh, kind of do the thing in this way but pardon me that I'm too critical but you know for the improvement of the university as well okay uh, now uh, before I come to the topic uh, which I would like to deliver on uh, I mean my speech 
Uh, but before that, you know, for your information, for those of you who are very like informative, you might have already known what I'm going to share. But uh, just last evening, about the NIRF ranking had been announced. Yeah. And then we should be thankful at the same time also, like not very thankful because uh, we slide back yeah. a little. Uh, in the NIRF ranking, previously our position was 51st of all the universities here in India, 51st. Now we are now in 58th position, 58. But anyway, uh, like the highest among the notice university would be Gauhati University on the 27th position, Gauhati University 27th. Their school, who, who was last year sixth position, like has gone down to 38th, 3 0. And then Nehu 48, and Debrugar 74, yeah, was 50. Assam was 92, okay, and Mizoram University 58. And then when, when you consider all the institutions like IIMs, IITs and this thing, Mizoram University 94, 94. Anyway, our rank as a whole in the North is, is not, uh, I mean like, you know, it's quite satisfactory. Of course, we could do better, we could do better. Like our university, as compared to other universities, it's very young university now, we are like spending our 17 years of existence. So those of Gauhati, Nehu and this thing, you know, they're much older. Anyway, uh, like we have to strive for excellence. Let's hope in the next assessment, we'll, we'll jump up, we'll be among the top 10. Okay, that is uh, the first part. Okay, now this kind of training. There, uh, like in the Bible, in the Proverbs, like uh, chapter 22, verse six, it is said, train up a child in the way he should go. Train up a child in the way he should go. So we are to train the college students, the youth, in the way they should go. Today we are talking about sustainable development and protection of environments and maintaining ecological balance. So we need to be very clear about our duty what do we mean by sustainable development? What do we mean by ecological balance? Okay, for that, in order to bring sustainable development, we need to train our students, we need to train our youth. Okay, whenever we talk about sustainable development, we mean to say it is a lasting development. It is inclusive development. And development in a true sense of the term, should be like the development should bring like the the lasting development as well as the development which is meant for future generation okay like see we Mizo people we used to do shifting cultivation okay our way of life is slash and ban method okay we say zooming. For a year or two, like it may be very productive. The yield may be very high. Okay? Like if you just go to the virgin forest, cut down the trees, and then cultivate, the yield for a particular year, for one year or two years, might be very good. But it is not sustainable. Because when you cultivate the same plot over and over again, the yield will be smaller and smaller. Okay, that is one thing. In that way, it is not sustainable. And the other is that every year you cut down valuable trees, burn down, okay, then you destroy the forest. And then that will affect your rainwater also. So, so many other things, okay. When it burn down those forests, you know, like flora and fauna also was, were very much affected. Wildlife also, those that were there in Mizoram, you know, because of the, like, you know, June fire and all, they had gone down to Assam or, okay. And then animal lives, birds, and those beautiful flora and fauna, you know, were, I mean, 
hundreds of them had already been extinct. Okay, so that way it's not sustainable. Okay, all right. Now the villagers have to be trained that this is the harmful way of cultivation. You have to offer another. Okay, in that way, the Mizo boys like. In the past, when they have dao and all these things, knives and this thing, they cut down the trees on the roadside and this thing, this thing, okay. So this habit has to be <coughs> changed. For that, they have to be sensitized, okay, yes. So our duty is that we train our students, our youth. We should, like, sensitize them to be youthful, I mean, useful, okay, in like, you know, telling others by action and in their speech also. So that is our duty. And Sipupati is very uh, much aware about 17 Sustainable Development Goals of UN. Okay? For that also, empowerment, women empowerment. How can women empowerment bring sustainable development? See, according to their interpretation, you bring development. But, let's see, around 50% of the citizen, if they are suppressed, if they are tormented, how can you say the development are sustainable, lasting, okay? So, we should all be happy. It has to be inclusive, okay? So, development should not uh, mean only for those rich people. So, those who are the downtrodden, the weaker sections and all these things, okay? When they are talking about cities also, city is safe for women. City is safe for weaker sections, okay? So sustainable development means, you know, it can uh, be applied everywhere and anywhere. So for that, it could be sometimes safeguarding the downtrodden, the weaker section and all these things, okay? Now, Today's topic is particularly sustainable protection of environment, bringing ecological balance. Okay, so for that, for environment protection and this thing, like it includes everything, cleanliness, okay, planting trees, and then like you know, it takes cares of you know health issues also, like uh, constructing public toilet washrooms or whatever, whatever, okay. So you know better what things are to be done. All right. So like when we talk about the present topic, the trainers need to be very particular about the meaning, the terminology. Yes. What do you mean by sustainable development? Unless we are clear, how can we teach them? Okay. Unless we are clear about environment, ecological balance, Okay, all these things we need to be well informed, then we can teach others to be, you know, an instrumental in bringing sustainable development and environmental protection. Okay, uh, I'm not the one who would tell you this thing, you know, better, and because, you know, uh, like the, the terms and conditions of the officers who is in charge of NSS and this thing. So, just to like, you know, uh, remind you uh, what is sustainable development, what is environment, and what is conservation of environment, protection, and then ecological balance and this thing. So you refresh your memory and then teach uh, the youth, the students here, because here in Mizoram University also, like, we talk about all these inspired club and this thing, and then in incubation and this thing, one day, uh, some people came, like, sir, can we not do one thing? Like, in the Sobji Bazaar and this thing, green leaves have been, uh, every Saturday evening, hundreds, I mean, tons and tons of them have been, like, you know, thrown on the way. So why not we collect together and then dump here in the university and treat it, and then, like, we have, like, fertilizer, okay? So from the universe, I mean, in, for our own use also we do, and then, like, if there are surplus, then we can uh, sell out. Okay. That sort of things, like, so many things have to be told to our students. Let them be aware of what they should do and what we, uh, like, you know, living by example.
okay, you should be a man of action, and then the students that you taught should also be uh, like an exam exemplary, uh, like you know, to the villagers and the, those ignorant people. So for that, your work is rather should be like you know, you, you are accountable, and then you should train all uh, the, the the students who you lead. Okay, with that, let me close my. Uh, speech and I happily inaugurate this training of trainers today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sir. So now may I propose a board of tense. Uh, I have lots of things to mention in the board of tense. Okay, please excuse us. We are a bit in a dull mood because of the weather, must be. And then uh, from the organizing side, that. Many of the participants are stationed who are, are supposed to be landed and by road also has been delayed or has been declined because of this weather condition. So may I request an excuse for that. There were 20, uh, 28 participants registered for this program, out of which 13 are outside, uh, outside participants. Some local participants are still on their way, say from other districts of Mizoram. So hopefully they might join us this afternoon. And then, like the local participants from different institutions are like Big Five, NIT, uh, what Age and Betty College, CDC, then colleges from the city, as well as our POs from the, within the universities. So I welcome you as well as I thank you for participating in this POT program. So my Thank both you, the VC, who kindly consented our invitation, plus who also have shown interest in this program, and then who kind of a guide for our department organizing this program. Equally, also I thank to the program coordinator, Professor P. Rinoma, who has taken initiative and efforts to be able to conduct this program, and then also to Professor Zongai Kwangi, who is the current Dean of School of Social Sciences. Ma'am, sirs, I thank you. And then, also I thank to the former Dean, who is a Professor, I mean, former Dean Professor Pati, Professor Joy Tikumar, Professor Patnai, Professor Gabby Reddy, within or outside the schools, and then Professor Sati, and my colleagues, as well as all the NSSPOs within the university. We have five POs right now. And I also thank you to the volunteers of this program, who is the current and first scholars of the Department of Social Work. And I thank to the, all the resource persons who are mainly within Mizoram State, who is supposed to give training on this one week training program. So I thank you them, I thank them. And also I thank you to the PR cell who have made a video coverage and make needful arrangement to have a successful program. So to one and all, the organizing committee like proposed board of thanks on this inaugural function. And attention please for another information is that like because of weather, refreshment might be served inside the hall. Thank you. <laughs>